All right, so I'm just now coming across this. Thank you so much, Jesse DeSoto, for sending this to me. Um, I missed some things, and this was an article that I most definitely missed. I want some nasty. Are we having fun yet? While I might have missed this quote and missed this article, this is definitely not something that I haven't talked about before, and that is Tim Duncan was a god-awful coach. Uh, and Greg Popovich basically says it. So we can see here, I gave up after a week. Uh, so let's go ahead and read through here. So this is actually from um, earlier on, um, early in the season, post-game media talk. Um, and this is what Popovich had to say about Duncan. I don't think we went over this, okay? I go over so many things that sometimes I forget. But when I saw this, I was like, I do not think that we, we went over this. Um, so it says, I gave up. When we had Duncan that one year, I gave up after a week. It shows a maturity and intelligence. Unlike some of us, we just keep doing it because we love it, but he has other interests. He's not wedded to basketball. People fall in love, but basketball doesn't really love you. Your friends and family love you. Basketball doesn't love you. So yeah, that, that's absolutely true. Popovich also says he may never go to a game the rest of his life, but he comes to practices and walks around to see the boys play, but he has no interest in coaching. And there's another part as well. And I, I feel like this was at another point. I feel like this was early on, like early, early, like maybe a couple years ago. I, I don't know. Uh, Tim Duncan doesn't know a lick about coaching. I don't even know why I hired him. Uh, he's given me a paycheck for 19 years. So I was kind of obliged to pay it back. I th yeah, I think, I don't know. And that's another thing, dude. Everyone always says Popovich, man. Yeah, Popovich, everyone says he's great, but it was really Tim Duncan. Popovich says that it was really Tim Duncan. It's like people don't understand what makes Popovich special is the fact that he will acknowledge these things. There's coaches that are, in, Popovich is a basketball genius, okay? Do not get me wrong. But there's coaches that have a similar amount of basketball genius, but they're so stuck in their own ego that they can't do things like that. Like Phil Jackson comes up with a stupid take like every other week because of his ego. The fact that Popovich can put his ego to, uh, aside and say things like that and understand players that was that amy schumer oh okay oh okay tampax i was like what the heck she's doing weather now i mean she's a terrible comedian anyways besides the point all right uh <laughs> all i'm saying is like that that's part of what makes him great that's part of what makes him special when the spurs won the 2014 uh, uh title where was popovich on the bench he was not up like saying look at me I, i'm so great no he was on the bench he was like no those guys did it i i i was just here you know that that type of that type of uh humbleness is what makes him special and it's like people do not understand that uh that is a big deal and players feed off of that they understand it and that's what perpetuates our culture that's why our culture is the way it is when people say spurs culture that's what they're talking about you get mostly good guys guys that's that's humble that more so stay to themselves or guys that are willing to pass the basketball and even players that personalities don't necessarily fit with the san antonio spurs culture they they still get in line <laughs> they're still able to adjust in some to some degree no one i mean i felt like i was and i hate to bring this up i bring this up every chance i get done but i feel like i was the only one that noticed some of the dejounte murray tendencies the only one that noticed like some of the things and it was because you know I, I kept up with social media i kept up with certain things like when he got out of the starting lineup and then unfollowed all his teammates but guess what the Spurs culture did not allow you to see any of that, right? Like Spurs fans didn't see it. They didn't understand it. They didn't, they, they're, they're still shocked that we get so many like crazy, like interviews and things, statements said by him now. They're, they're so shocked. What the heck is that? It, it's because the, the Spurs culture has a really good way of bringing in everybody, including everybody. And that's how Popovich is. He can, he can relate to just about anybody. So yeah. Um, but Okay, this was more so supposed to be about Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan sucks at coaching. Yeah, he sucks at coaching. Terrible coach. <laughs> Even times where Popovich would get kicked out of the game and Tim Duncan would have to coach, he was he was, he was awful. He was god awful. Uh, um, I think that he was more so just a uh, just an image, you know. Like it's like, oh my god, Tim Duncan's on the sideline. I'm gonna listen to what he has to say. Not necessarily him being a great like basketball a coaching basketball mind or whatever there's a there's so many things you have to juggle as a coach and that just wasn't his thing right um tim duncan just wasn't into it uh becky would be a way better coach than duncan by the way um but anyways or she is a better coach than duncan um so that and i get a little hesitant 
um, when we're talking about like legendary players becoming coaches, because it rarely happens or it rarely works out, right? Like, I, I can't think of too many where it works out like perfectly. Like, you can have former players become coaches, but when we're talking like legendary players, like Dunk, it does not, it does not work. It, it just, it just don't work. I don't know if Manu Ginobili, I mean, Manu, Manu Ginobili is definitely a legendary player. But I, I don't know. But like like Pop said, you got to absolutely love it. I mean, this is his life. You know, this is, this is, I believe, I could be wrong, okay? But I believe that Popovich, he thinks about basketball a lot. And I mean a lot, a lot. I mean, I, I feel like, yeah, like on, on weekends, he might have some wine. He goes to sleep and then he wakes up thinking about basketball. Like, I, I just, I, that's just what I think, um, him doing it for so long. And even after winning all those championships, he could have easily just walked away and, you know, been been the GOAT. I mean, got all the wins. I mean, he got the winning as he's most winning as coach in NBA history and just walked away. And that's another thing, too. I don't think I've said this in another video. I don't think that anyone's going to ever touch Popovich winning record. I don't think I, I, I just don't think that the way that the NBA is going today, you're not going to get another Popovich that's with a team for like 20 plus years. That That's just not going to happen. I don't think. Um, guys are so replaceable. I mean, the only coach I can think of right now that would have some type of shot is maybe Steve Kerr, but I don't know, man. I mean, Steph Curry hasn't, you know, he hasn't looked bad or anything like that. And he still got some uh, plenty in his tank, but, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyways, I'm, I'm just all over the place. Actually. I'm curious. Yeah, Steve Curry isn't even in the top. I don't even know how many this is. Where is Steve Curry? Oh, these are locked for some reason. Um, well, no one on this list is, yeah, I mean, Nelson gone. <laughs> Wilkins, yeah, Carl. I mean, who's the closest? Doc Rivers, yeah, Doc Rivers isn't touching it, guys. Uh, even a great coach like Spolstra is way behind. Then Tony's way behind. Then Tony isn't even coaching. Yeah, yeah. The only person that can get there soon-ish, not really, is Doc Rivers, and Popovich is still going. Man, Pop Popovich is a G, dude. I don't know. I'm super excited. I'm super excited for Popovich to uh, continue coaching. Shut these haters up. But anyways, I'll give it you guys later. I'm, I'm like blabbling, uh, if, blabbering. If, if you guys want to support the channel, clanthemerchfan.com or become a Patreon YouTube member. Only $2 per month. Link in the description. Give it you guys later. Till next time. Bye.